Mark Beaumont and myself have taken on many ultra endurance challenges over the years, and oh, have I suffered. Over the last summer, he has tried to drag me the length of the UK, not once, but twice, thousands of kilometers. But this time, Mark's invited me to the beautiful Argyll and the Isles on the west coast of Scotland, to the islands of Jura and Isla. They measure less than 100 kilometers across, so this one should be easy. Now, he's promised me some proper, iconic Scottish luxury. This is our wild Scottish adventure. Woo! Showing Hank the best of Scotland would be my pleasure. The plan was to head to the Inner Hebrides and visit two of the most beautiful islands, Jura and Isla. To ride our bikes, of course, on deserted roads and wild gravel tracks, but also to sample plenty of this region's most famous export, whiskey. But first, I told him to travel in style and get the legendary Caledonian sleeper train up from London to Edinburgh. Tonight is being spent to the train. So I've made my way across the west coast of Scotland and I'm here to meet Mark at Tarbert Fishing Village. And what a beautiful fishing village it is. Now he did tell me to meet by the dock, so, uh, well, basically I need to try and spot him. He is. How you doing, bud? Mr. Mark Beaumont, how you doing? Long time no see. Been a while. It has, yeah, you're right, but I made it. How was your trip? Yeah, it was, well, weird one. In what sense? Went to bed down south, woke up up north in Scotland, and then trekked it across to the west coast, and here oh, we are. Yeah, here I am. But what have you got in store for me? Because I'm a little bit nervous, but also excited, because uh, I hear you got me some iconic luxury Scotland to show me. Well, you brought the right bike, right bike for it. Better road, better gravel. Uh, but this is still the mainland of Argyll. There's, what, 20 plus islands to explore. We've only got time for two. We've picked out Jura and Isla. I'm sure you've heard of Isla because of the whiskey. The mission is from here, we've got about an hour to get over the hill, gravel ride to the ferry, and then off to the islands. What, so we're already running late? Well, you know, tight for time. I know you like a, a mission. I know you like a bit of a race. There's always a mission with you, isn't there? Always. It's, it's not Land's End, John O'Groo. It should be pleased to hear. Oh, like heaven. Right, Let's here we go, to the ferry. You right, Hank? Uh, I'm kind of confused where you're taking us, mate. I've done it once before. I think it's this way. Really? Okay. It's been a while. It's only been 10 minutes and I'm already out of breath. But the views, even though it's rainy a little bit, the next level. Go on, buddy. It's not a walking holiday. Whoa! You said luxury! <sighs> It is a big boat. It is a big boat. <laughs> Mark, 
Mark, I've got to say, we've suffered a lot over the past year. Some pretty big endurance tasks. Yeah, that's for sure. So this, this feels a bit more slow paced. The ferry got us here in the dark. I thought a pretty cool place to plot a couple of days adventure across island Jura where around a campfire on the beach. I'll have a good castle and a four course meal, but there's nothing like getting into the outdoors to plan an adventure. So then why the, the island of Isla? I'm biased. I, I came here because I had an amazing adventure here about 10 years ago and I've looked for a reason to come back. If you think of Argyle and the Isles, there's what, 23 inhabited islands to choose from and loads of others. So you're, you're spoiled for a choice. It's crazy to think that what, yeah, yesterday evening you got on a sleeper train in the middle of London. Here you are. In the wilderness. Inner Hebrides. Yeah. Absolutely nowhere at the start of an adventure. And I, I've got to say, I'm looking forward to it. And it all starts with this marshmallow. And then a good night's sleep. You deserve it. My first reaction to the island of Jura. What a place, it's beautiful, isn't it? Stunning. Yeah. And it feels like we've got the place to ourselves. Well, enjoy it, because you are on the only tarred road on the entire island. This one? Yep. What's it called? Uh, it's called the Long Road. The, the Long Road? The Long Road. Well, how name. long is it then? Oh, it's very long. It's uh, 25 miles. <laughs> what? 25 miles? Yeah. Is that all? That's it. 25 miles, it's called the long road, Mark. Even you can manage that, buddy. Yeah. Even you can manage that. <laughs> I've got to say, you know all about long roads, wouldn't you? Now, you're probably wondering what we're riding on this wild Scottish adventure. Now, Argon 18 have sorted us out with their dark matter gravel bikes. And I've got to say, I'm enjoying riding it, but the man who knows more about it than I do is this man who's just completed the GB Duro Epic on that bike. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty versatile machine. Obviously, we're doing some road here, gravel, pretty similar to the GB Duro race, but that was 2,000 kilometers. It comes with a 3D system on the headset here, which means you can fully customize it. You can ride it slammed like I have, or have it a bit more comfortable and risen at the front end like Hank does. I'm riding a two by. Hank's got a, a one by system, so quite different setups on the same frame, but hopefully a good machine for an all round Scottish adventure. Yeah, it's also got some nice drop seat stays there just to give it some added comfort and a, a load of clearance on the front there. So uh, hopefully when we hit the gravel, we're not gonna get, well, caked in mud. Now we're good, I'm riding 40s and I've got loads of space. To Let's gravel. Go. Let's do it. Here it is. First taste of gravel. Squeaky brakes. I know, we've just been exploring the south of the island of Jura, and I've got to say, the gravel has been pretty amazing, and even better to have the paps in the background. We've got the place to ourselves. It's, I mean, literally us and the odd deer. The amount of times this man has shouted out, it's a stag. There's 5,000 of them, Hank. But it's pretty amazing, It's still isn't a novelty it? though it for me. Is, Every time stunning. it's like classic it's Scottish, isn't it? It's amazing, absolutely stunning. But Loved it. Tell me about these. The paps, I mean, you can see them 
Through the west coast of Scotland, there's a couple of skylines that are absolutely iconic. And the Paps of Jura are up there. I mean, there's a big fell race every year. People come over here to hike them. They're, uh, they're pretty iconic, the big sort of dome shapes. And um, compared to Isla, you know, which is a lot flatter, it's just this amazing, and the fact that they just rear out of the, the sea. They're just beautiful hills. After showing Hank Jura's gravel, we had a quick nip back over to Jura for our first planned stop of the day, the newest whiskey distillery on Isla, Ardenhoe. If you know Isla at all, you know it for the whiskey. Yes. There's a, there's a, I think a good little explore, bit of, bit of single track road and then gravel up through the woods, which I want to uh, see on the east side here. And it gives us a view back over the Paps of Jura and where we were gravel riding this morning. It's a pretty stunning place to start. But talk to me more about this because, um, well, I'm really looking forward to trying my first proper, you know, Isla whiskey. Well, it's a funny one, isn't it? Because I love whiskey and I love cycling, but cycling and drinking whiskey is probably not the best combination. There's, there's 10 distilleries on the island, and I think if we had 10 drams of Isla peated malt, we would uh, not be fit to do anything. No. Anything. But Salt. this one's quite cool. I quite like the story with this one because it's... Uh, it's a blend, it's called Isla Journey. It's a blend of five of them. And it's, it, we've got like a half, we've got like a tiny little nip. So uh, we can basically get half of the, half of the, the malts on the entire island in one tiny little one nip, thimble. which is a pretty cool way to start our uh, Isla bike ride. On that note, chin chin. Slangewa. Yep. <laughs> From the Ardenhoe distillery, it's only a two mile ride to one of the oldest distilleries on Isla, Bunahaban. It's here we had the pleasure to meet our tour guide, David Brodie, to find out as to why there are so many whiskey distilleries on Isla. Being Scottish, I've always known great whiskey comes from Isla, but I've never actually stopped to think why. Because if you think of the actual geography and the, the sort of route that Scotland was populated through. Isla was a very, very busy place in its day, and it was also the perfect place for making whiskey. All of the raw ingredients were here on the island. Think of the location of all the distilleries. We're nearly all beside the water. We're sitting at a distillery that was here probably for about 70 years before there was ever a road to it. Hank and I were lucky enough to have a sneak peek inside. However, the cameras had to stay outside. Wow. No secrets from Bunahaban can be filmed. You'll have to visit the distillery in person to see what's inside. From here, I've got a treat for Hank. A gravel ride across the island. We're heading to Kilcon, a distillery which makes whiskey with a difference. <laughs> That was deeper than expected. Mate, I just got covered!
our gravel riding has been getting gnarlier and gnarlier, but we've actually come from an island onto another island around some ruins. There must be a story here, Mark. Why have you brought me here? It's What's mad, isn't it? I've never been here, but I wanted to come here. Um, this is Finn Lagan. And you know I've always called you my lordship. Yeah. You know, out of respect. Naturally. <laughs> this is the historic seat of the Lord of the Isles. Ah. So this would have been home, 14th century. And uh, not just for the islands, but actually the Gaelic kingdom would have included bits of Ireland like over Northern Ireland. So over that way, up Northern Hebrides, most of Argyle, and this would have been where all the power emanated from. So this is the beating heart? The McDonald's. There it is. Feared and respected. Just, just like you, Hank. You gotta leave the, the kingdom. What, I can't sit on my throne? You can't sit on your throne any longer. Why not? Mark! So we've made our way on the tarmac over to the west of the island and now we're heading to another distillery, aren't we? Yeah, last, last stop of the day. <laughs> we just dried off after all the mud earlier on, back onto muddy tracks. But um, the idea is to pick up a dram here to take it to the most westerly point. And this distillery, Kilcoman, has got a cool story because it makes all its own barley on site from that field, literally, into the distillery right here. Uh, end of the day, hopefully they're still open. Look at that. Wow, look at that. So the, the field is there. The barley is all laid out. And um, I don't know a ton about making whiskey, but I do know that it needs to germinate just a little bit before it can go on to the next stage in the process. And you can see these just starting to, to germinate. That's mad. I can see they've got a little temperature thermometer thing over there to check it. And I guess they lay it out like this, like they have for hundreds of years to just let it start to, to seed, to start to germinate. Pretty amazing. And then I was told as well, is that they uh, kind of spade it and turn it to create that oxygen, let the oxygen and let it breathe a bit. I guess that's what that and contraption's that's what for. that contraption there is for. We're both, believe it or not, farmer sons, and uh, we left it behind to ride our bicycles, but we can at least pretend to know what we're talking about. Hey, I feel right at home here. Three tonnes of barley sat there. Aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> right, but it's going to be sunset in about 45 minutes, and I quite fancy a whiskey. On that note, I, I did just ask Ida if we could, uh, have a bottle, so. Don't you love the fact that the man that runs this distillery on Isla is called Isla. Isla? I've never met a man called Isla before. I know. It's brilliant, isn't it? Anyway, enough chatting about it. Let's go drink it. Sunset. There better be a sunset after all this chat. Hope so. Some might say this is cheesy, but it doesn't get much better, does it? No, it doesn't. I think the perfect way to end a day on Isla is sipping on a dram of whiskey from a distillery a mile away. A mile away, and uh, it's been absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I've loved it. Thanks for showing me around. Look at that. We're actually gonna get a sunset. We've been chasing this all day and thinking it's not gonna happen. The final day of our Argyle and the Isles adventure and um, well we're picking up where we left off, Macker Bay. This is where we tried to catch sunset and uh, 
Well, it's a bit colder this morning. Yeah, it is. I'm feeling that uh, dram of whiskey, but um, this cold air is kind of waking, my, waking me up a little bit and uh, put my gloves on. But look at that surf, mate. That genuinely looks so nice. The mission today is to head Avata way. Yeah, um, I genuinely don't know what's around the headland. Had a look on Kamut, tried to find some tracks and trails and beaches by the looks of it that gets around the south of Isla. Uh, there's only one thing that I do know we're going to do today, apart from trying to figure out a route, is uh, a little challenge I've got for Hank here later on. Something which might bang, bring back some uh, fond memories of uh, recent challenges. Oh great. I was really enjoying it until you said that. <laughs> Time to warm up and get around that headland. Let's go! Right, Mark, you told me Isla is notorious for being fairly flat, yet behind us lies, I would say, 40% <laughs> incline. I need my ice axe, basically, is what we're saying. Bring a rope. Yeah. I mean, genuinely, Isla is known for its like touring cycling because it's, uh, it's, it's pretty easy going, but uh, I don't think this is a designated route, you know? <laughs> I think we've come off the beaten track, haven't we? I was following the Beaumont nose, <laughs> and it sometimes gets you into trouble. <laughs> Right, without further ado, my friend, here we go. <sighs> oh, that's a monster. <laughs> that's an absolute monster. I genuinely don't think we'd be carrying our bikes today. Highland Cows, bit of Scotland for you. I love, love a Highland cow. Highland coo. Coo! A Highland coo! Right, where to now, mate? I'm so glad there's nobody here to offend. <laughs> With your amazing Scottish accent. We've been working it all week. <laughs> right. That to, way. To That's the what? Highland, past the Highland coo. Past the coo, find the path. Right, should we ride? Uh, we can try. He's standing pretty firm. He's standing pretty firm. Right, let's just walk around. Slowly does it. Hello. Scotland isn't just known for its rugged and wild nature, but it's also its luxury and incredible cuisine. So to finally tick on the luxury side of this trip, for Hank, we head onwards for a 40 kilometer ride purely on tarmac to the Macri. What an adventure. And it's been proper wild, isn't it? We've hiked a bike up some heather hills. We've made our way through a whole load of coo and, uh, and we've headed across beaches through uh, wind in the rains. But now it kind of feels like what you promised me, some proper iconic luxury. Well, we find ourselves here, don't we? This is all right. And uh, we've asked the chef to bring out the best of what they've got. So I'm hoping it's gonna be some local delicacy. Isla isn't just spoilt for choice with whiskey, 
but is also spoiled for the incredible produce that is grown on the isle from its self-sustaining farming. This here is only but a small insight into what is on offer. Oh mate, that looks amazing. It does. A bit of tartar, that looks homemade. A bit. Not half of it out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> To end our small weekend adventure, I've decided to do something which doesn't involve two wheels, but rather two paddles. Why you ready? Have you, why have you brought me here? Well, this was my surprise. I know you've had a tough summer and you said you'd never get in a tandem before, but you know what they say about getting back on a horse if you fall off? I don't like the way this is going. It's, it's, it's a tandem with a difference. I thought you and I exploring the southern coastline of Isla the oldest distilleries on the island by kayak. Mark, I like what you've done here. Tandem kayak, scaring me with tandem. Yeah, I like it. It's, but ther it's therapy for your tandem trauma. There's only one condition I'll get on that tandem with you. Anything. I don't want to stare at your ass anymore. Okay. I'm, I'm piloting. <laughs> don't you worry, I've got this. Fine. Right, let's get kitted up, shall we? On the water. Here we go. <sighs> right, I hope you don't get me lost or something. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mark, are you going to push me? Well, you didn't do any work when you were on the back of the tandem, <laughs> so why should I? Hopefully, not too many bad memories will be flooding back to Hank. Quite enjoying being back on the back of the tandem. Yeah. Hard work by there, isn't it? It's uh, very hard work. Whoa. We're only hoping to tick off the last three distilleries on our list. Lafroig, Lagavulin and Ardbeg. With each taking home a small sample. Jelly babies, mate. You have some jelly babies. Ah, uh, no, I'm okay. Thank you very much. Go on, have some jelly babies. No, it's all right. I learned my lesson the last time. These ones are a bit sea salty, not so shammy creamy. Bonus. Oh wow! What a welcome. Yes. Now that is the, a pure Isla welcome, isn't it? Absolutely. Welcome to our bag. Thank you. This looks incredible. Cheers. Slash bar. Salty. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I like it. Mm. It's nice I mean, it's, it tastes so fresh. Yeah. Like so fresh. What an epic adventure, mate. I've enjoyed every single minute of that. My first time at the Isles in Isla and Jura has been unforgettable. You look like you've had fun. <laughs> A bit wild. Whiskey, wild, luxury, and ending on a beach with the sunset set behind us is epic. Well, a massive thank you to everyone in our guy on the Isles who has helped make this adventure happen. I'm glad we've shown you something which is not pure suffering this time. Thank God I haven't suffered too much. Proper adventure. Now, if you guys enjoyed this, then let us know in the comment section below. Do you like this stuff? We want to hear from you. So uh, yeah, please comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit a big thumbs up button. Why has everyone been waving at me today? Everyone we've crossed has waved. Because everyone knows you. Nah, it's the Isla wave. Everyone waves in Isla. Everyone knows everyone. It's pretty nice. It's a proper welcome. Now, can we enjoy the sunset? Yeah. Because that, you don't get much more romantic, mate. Oh, it's been emotional. <laughs> Another emotional trip. Mark, what am I? Come on, Hank. This is your island initiation. Got to roll a barrel. Put your back into it. I know you're all legs. Ah. Come on, son. <sighs> Give it some. Where's your barrel? Uh, I did this years ago. I... <laughs> It's a wee uh, little cask guy. Uh.